Is it my duty as a man to set an example? To set an example for other men? I mean, I could say no, it's not my duty at all. It's not for me to set an example for you. Go and throw yourself down an ascending escalator. One that's working. But seriously, I am five years shy of being 40. I'm not very shy, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so I will soon be 40. And I often lean on the experiences of my life to make these videos. And it's to understand that my experiences and the way I put my videos across can actually help many, many men. But at the same time, it's a sense of how am I helping them? Am I setting a good example? Now the men my own age may have some example if not more as will the men older than me. But I also have to consider the men younger than me as well. And considering I will almost be four decades old, what example am I showing younger men? You see, us grown bastards, there are certain things I can say that we understand because we have lived certain life. Like I have said before, we know when Windows 95 was a brand new thing. As an example, that's how far back we go. Many of us remember videotapes and TVs with big fat backs. Many of us know how to restring a cassette tape by using a pen or a pencil to restring the tape if it has become unwound. Weird little simple things, but an example of the times that a man my age is from. When these were a thing, when hip hop was good, yeah, let's carry on. And along with the examples of the time I have been on this planet, it's the experiences as well. And how those experiences can be used in a term of learning something, understanding something a bit better, being aware of something, understanding what it is you may want to choose to avoid, or even just being entertained, just having something to pass the time. So in these instances, what example am I setting for, let's say, these younger millennials? Me just about being one myself. You see, I see clearly and understand that there are so many young men that struggle to just get by with certain things. One of those main certain things is understanding women. I know this because I have been there myself. But we live in a different time than when I was a teenager growing up, when I was a young man growing up. Now the point being, to understand the certain shiftings in society, the certain, let's say, agendas being pushed forward, and to understand how those things, how simple they may seem to others, how those things can affect a lot of young men. Young people in general, both men and women, because the outcome is very clear to say and see. So, I can say I do not care and have no need to set any example at all. Tis not my place, tis not my duty. But in understanding a few things, like my words being listened to and the fact I have a son as well and how I am teaching and talking to my son. Now clearly many things I have made videos on I'm not going to tell my seven year old. He's a child, I am letting him be a child. But just interacting with him, teaching him, showing him more about life, just trying to be an awesome dad basically but not one that is a pushover. Now I can make many videos cursing, saying this and that and blah 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 and 
so on and so forth. But at the same time, I do not believe that is going to make you feel better as a man. I do not feel that is me setting a good example. Now, I understand that's me anyway, that, that's who I am. But then it's about how others can interpret what you're saying. Are you understanding the message I'm giving in the videos? The overall message? That it's about you? And that many of these things that we battle with and try to understand, the more you understand yourself, the clearer those things become? That's the point I'm trying to make. But I also understand the point of certain things I say can be taken further than they need to be taken. And to say, is it my duty? No, it's not my duty. But personally, in me, I believe, yes, it is my duty. Because as an aged man, there are many things I can teach the younger men that have not reached that level yet, that still do not understand certain things, that are still learning about certain things, new experiences. Clearly I can see the damage and the inflictions many, many men have nowadays, both young and old. And with things that have happened in the past few months, or the past month, I've learned a lot of things. And I understand more, a lot of things. And for that I feel I am better. Even if many do not understand or see it yet. I very much do feel I have a duty to set an example. To still get my points across, but in a way that even very young men and even boys themselves can listen to. Not only that, even women and girls themselves can listen to. So it's a sense of just understanding. Because I believe many men have a wealth of knowledge that they can share. But I also can see how a man like myself, in just speaking about myself here, how influential my words can be. When it's a sense of, I should just make the word, then you can take from it what you will something more easily digestible, something I hope to be more intelligent and more logical. Something you can say on you agree or not, or you agree with some things and disagree on other things, but just something that is more easily understood. Not because I believe it's my duty to convince anyone. No, that is not my duty. I am not here to convince anyone of anything. There are things clear for anyone to see. And, you know, they've experienced it themselves anyway, so you know. But I do feel I have a duty to set an example. Not only for us grown awesome bastards and the more mature awesome bastards but also for the young aspiring bastards. Some that have not yet reached that level of awesomeness. In a way for them to understand they have not yet reached levels of the Ultra Instinct Goku. Reaching a point where they are seeking and understanding the self-actualization. They are on that path. And I also think of the ripple effect. How those younger men that will then become more mature will pass this down to younger men to understand and see the way society is adjusted and changing. 
but to also inform men to let them know who they are, that they are someone, not just something. As a creator, I want to have fun with it. And I very much enjoy what I do. But at the same time, I do have a few responsibilities I do need to make sure I keep an eye on. I can be as hard as nails. And as balls to the wall. It's not a good combination of thoughts though, that sounds painful. But I can get my message across without any of that. And because like I said, it would be painful. Many things to do and many things to learn. And many times we expect more from others. You cannot hurt me. No man can hurt me. But at the same time, I need to see the example I myself am setting. What example am I setting? What example is RF setting? The setting is awesome, inspiring, motivational. The setting is about finding yourself, the real you. So you stop pretending and being fake to yourself. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Hello, so I'm currently recording some more videos or editing some more videos, but there are some next to my head right here for you to watch in the meantime. 